In the last few years, if you've used Blender, you've probably used it with Cycles or EV Next. But what if I told you there's actually another free render engine that's actually industry standard? And I'm talking about Octane. But why would you use it in the first place? Well... Octane is actually an unbiased render engine that gives you photorealistic results right off the box. Which means you don't have to fake your lights like you do with Cycles or Eevee. So, how can you use it? Well, basically you need to go to Odo's website, download it, install it, and start using it. But then comes the roadblock of finding the right content to get yourself started. Well, this is the course which is gonna be giving you the jumpstart that you need to get into Octane. So, what are we gonna be covering in this course? Well, we're gonna be covering the basic setup, the lighting, the texturing, the compositing. And with that, we're actually gonna be making two practical examples in the end. One of a microscopic render of a pen and a paper. Plus, we're gonna be doing a product render of a water bottle. So, buckle up tight and let the course begin. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. How can we get Blender Octane downloaded, installed and ready to go? So, it's pretty simple. What we need to do is go to Otoy's website over here on your browser of choice. I'm using Microsoft Edge over here. Now, first thing that we'll need to do is make an account. So let's just quickly make an account. Since I already have one, it logged in. Now what we need to do is click on this, their logo. And now we'll have to go to shop. And as soon as we go into shop, now this might be a bit confusing for a lot of new users, but what you need to do is go into the free trial and then go towards Octane Render Prime. And why the Prime? Because this is their free tier. And what's the difference between the free tier versus the paid one? Well, basically you can use multiple GPUs with the paid one. Let's be real. We're gonna be using like a single GPU. So this will do. So we'll come over here to try now and it'll take us to this page. <clears throat> now, since we're over here in the second tab, what we need to do is download the Octane Render Edition and the Octane Server Prime. Depending on what sort of OS you're using, whether it be Mac, Linux, or even Windows, we'll have to download accordingly. So, I'm gonna be downloading these two and we'll be installing them. Hey, Future Hassan over here. So if you don't wanna set up the starter file, hey, you can always skip this part and download the file in the description and just load it up. Now, continuing the video. Alrighty guys, we got Blender opened up over here. Now, first things first, what you need to do is also add in a few things. Well, number one is gonna be, we'll go to edit, preferences, and in the add-ons, we're gonna be searching for Octane. And we need to enable this and make sure this is unchecked because there have been instances where I've installed a plugin and I wasn't able to find it because enable only was ticked on. So yeah, just be aware of that. Now what we need to do is open up our Octane server. And it won't appear directly. We'll have to come over here and just double click on it. And now we need to click on activate. Now it's gonna ask for our credentials. So let me just add that. Okay, so our Octane Render Prime is now working properly and we're active. So what do we need to do now? Well, just click on the close button. How do we set up Octane? Because if we come over here, we could see EV and cycles. And now we can see Octane because in the preferences, we activated it. So if you don't see Octane, you know how to fix it. So we'll come over here to Octane and let me just split the view over here because this is how I like to work and put on our shader editor. I'll disable these. And if we go into our render view right now, give it a sec, it's calculating. Yep, everything should be black. Now, what we need to do is, first of all, we need to define a kernel. We'll just click over here 
and just close this and instead of a direct light one we actually need the path tracing kernel to get the best results possible now we need to create a world light for it so let me just close that and make a new one and now what we need to do for the last step is press our n tab come over here is a stone mapping press n and if we come over here scroll all the way down to color management we just need to put this from agx to raw none and yeah that's about it now we could even add in an hdri if i want to let's just quickly do that rgb image open download and exr let me just enlarge it and there's a studio one that i always use i'll just plug it in so yeah it's working properly now let's make the proper setup that we need since we're mainly going to be focusing on product renders and product animations what we need to do is have a sense of scale all the time and for that what i recommend is delete the default cube come over to your blender kit and just type in human So we need a good human 3D model. We could also use these photo scans if we want to. Let's use this one. And let's just quickly convert its textures. Yep. Now we don't need this light, so we'll just delete it. And let's just hide this. And coming towards our camera and just like that so now we need to save this as our starter file and how can we do that pretty simple come over here to file defaults save as starter file overwrite okay so a quick recap now this was chapter one we learned how to download and install blender octane and make a starter file now in chapter two we're going to be talking about the nodes so see you in the next video